Hello. The return of the Obra Dinn. First of all, something I just wanted to show off is the audio settings, which is maximum, nearly maximum, comfortably loud, just above the middle, in the middle, which we're setting it to. Uh, just below the middle, quite quiet, barely audible and muted. So, in the middle, because uh, I think music should kick up here in a second. I don't know, this is my third time starting the game. Uh, there it is. This is the second game by Lucas Pope. Uh, the first one being Papers, Please. Uh, a game, I think, that appeared on my channel once a long time ago and then never again. Uh, it was like a... I must have still been in high school because I did it with a friend uh, who I hung out with in high school. And uh, yeah, that was called like my friend is shockingly bad at. But there was another one he was shockingly good at. It was like Halfway Hero or... 30 minute, I don't remember, it was half minute hero, maybe? I don't remember. Um, if you really want, you can probably dig around and find those old things. Uh, played Super Amazing Wagon Adventure as well, that was kind of fun. Um, but anyways, we're here for Return of the Obra Dinn. I know very little about this game. Uh, that is, <laughs> playtime two minutes, last played five minutes ago. So yeah, I, I basically went in to check to make sure everything was working. Um, we're gonna delete that one. Yeah, okay, deleted. And begin. Starting anew, we're returning to Return of the Obra Dinn. Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Obra Dinn. Built in 1796, London, 800 tons, 18 foot draft. Captain R. Winterell, crew of 51 men, lost to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India Company London office for inquiries or testimonies. What I think I know about this game is that you're investigating uh, this particular ship. You're like some sort of officer, company man that would do that. The Honorable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector Insurance claims London office. The Obra Dinn has returned. Dispatch to Foulmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Yes, yeah, so we're a Chief Inspector. Apparently we're going into Foul's mouth. Uh, I bet he hasn't brushed his teeth today. Just sort of giving, you know, benefit of the doubt that uh, he hasn't brushed his teeth today. Alright, can we, like... Okay, there we go. Foul mouth. Foul mouth. Said you need ferry to the Obra Dinn. The Obra Dinn. Not many eager for that job. Arr. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hmm. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Well, this is hey. interesting. Ow. Carefully. Yes, this is quite interesting. So, the first time I played, and you know, it went through a little bit. Uh, I love the graphics. Let me just... Oh, the sensitivity. All right, hold on. Uh, can we... All right. A parody of control... Unreasonably fast, reasonably fast, fast side of perfect, perfect, slow side of perfect, just slow, struggle-ish, and near motionless. That was pretty quick. Let's try slow side of perfect. That's still pretty, pretty heavy. I'm actually uh, gonna drop you down to just slow. That's honestly still very fast. Like, alright, hold on. Here's a parody of control. Uh... That's, I'm moving it like millimeters at a time, and it's rocketing all over the place, so. Whoops. God, no. Uh, we're gonna go to struggle-ish. That's better. It's, it's work-withable. What is just slow? Jesus. Near motion. What is this? That's honestly close. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going... Near motionless, so... I think you're saying something about me there, Mr. Uh, Lucas Pope, but, you know, this... For a game where you, you know, look around and study it, you know, this is... This is much better. So, I think I have this... Well, no, I, it said tab opens a book, but I guess I don't do that yet. Maybe, uh... Hmm... He said hoist it up. But what I was going to mention was when I first started this game, uh, is the ring here? I don't know. Well, I need the book, or the 
chest, I suppose. Nope, that is just going right back down. You can uh, change the screen settings to be, like, Mac and this is Macintosh flavored. There's also, like, Commodore, a um, bunch of the old uh, computers. I think I saw Amiga in there somewhere. Uh, but, um, ah, maybe I grabbed this rope here. Yes. Surely this... No? Okay. I thought I... Thought I had it. It's a cage. It's an abandoned ship. It's beautiful. Nice. But yes, I was a man in the first, uh, test run of this game, and, uh, now I sound feminine. Which is neat, I guess. You know, you... Genders determined randomly at the start of the game, and, uh... I suppose it doesn't bear much, uh, impact on the game overall, what gender you are, but, um... You know, just a little detail, I suppose. Mm, well, I don't seem to be... Is there a control I'm missing? Hold on. Controls. Action. Zoom. Okay. And tab opens... But oh, I hit tab. It doesn't do anything. No, turn the pages. All right. Um, e does, in fact, zoom. So, not very much, but it does. And it is... Um, before I step inside, let's look around the ship. This rope, perhaps? No. He was supposed to hoist up the box. Is it this rope? No. A right click also zooms in for the record. Um, tab still does nothing. What the hell? Well, alright. Now, if we're not going to acknowledge the skeleton... I mean, what are we here for, really? Click also interacts. What is that? I have no idea what that is. Is it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm orienting myself here. Yeah, I have no. It's too heavy. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll come back out. Freaking goddamn son of a. Actually startled me. Spooky game for Halloween. So is that actually... It is. Is that just reflecting something, then? It might be, yeah. So, what? I come back down and yell at him? I'm told this is too heavy, or do I... Ignore him and keep exploring? I got it, yes. Thank you. Fuck you. Yeah. It's too heavy. Yeah. Take it yourself. I'll open it here, for God's sakes. Why didn't I... It's a book! Why didn't I do this in the first place? Yeah, okay. Thank you. It's a book. I get it. Okay. Let's... Oh, a cursor. Return to the Oberdin. A, cat, <clears throat> a catalog of adventure and tragedy. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expect this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the passages of this book. Why do... Who wrote this? Well, Henry Evans, obviously. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obra Dinn is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first, and all will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine and identify the fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. Aren't I part of the East India Trading Company? Well, I mean, I guess that we might have something in Morocco, I don't know, you know. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I propose the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Fuck you, Henry. The journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, a sketch, glossary, back up, 130, Jesus. Chapters, loose cargo, a bitter cold, murder, the calling, unholy captives, soldiers of the sea, the doom bargain, escape, the end. Well, let's go in order, shall we? The journey. I can click this and zoom in. No, I can't. Well, um... This actually doesn't tell... Oh, okay, okay, okay. The dotted line. 
So they left England. Uh, I don't know where in England. That's not my, you know, geography isn't really my thing. Passed through Meridia, the Canary Islands, and Cape Verde. Sailing around the Horn of Africa. And uh, they were supposed to go to... Oh, which cape is that? Is that Cape of Good Hope? I think it is. Mm. Um, Atlantic leg of the Far East journey. Uh, they were sailing underneath Africa in the Cape of whichever it is. Faith, Hope. It's one of those capes. <clears throat> the ship. Okay. Sturgy, crew, starboard walk, carpenter shop. There's a carpenter shop on this fucking boat? The gun deck. Okay, so... This will be useful in determining who these people are. There's the captains, the passenger cabins. In the cargo hold, there's the captain's cargo hold. Bosun's store. Why do they need... Oh, it's probably storage, not like proper stores. Uh, Lazarette, the passenger cargo. And okay. Good old map of the ship. That'll probably be useful. The crew. All right. Robert Whittard, Captain... I'm not going to read all of the... Yeah, no, I'm not reading all of these. But uh, there's 60 people, many of them seamen, some topmen, a couple passengers, some stewards, a few midshipmen. Uh, there's your, you know, things that actually have proper origin. There's a guy from Austria. He's all... Formosa? Apparently a lot of passengers are from Formosa. England, China... Uh, India, England, Ireland, Sierra Leone, hmm. New Guinea, Wales, Scotland, England, America. A couple of Americans, mainly the Sturgeon's mate, or I'm sorry, the Carpenter and the Carpenter's mate were Americans. Everyone else was uh, from somewhere in Eurasia, it looks like. Okay, well I got nothing. Uh... Sketches of lifeboat on the... Of life. Ah. Underway. And get a good look at all these people. Some women, some happy people, some men playing dice. Uh, the Formosan royalty. Probably some passengers. Uh, what, oh, justice at sea. So they hanged and shot somebody. Uh, that's a bit grim, if you ask me, but, you know, there it is. Okay, Loose Cargo, Chapter 1. On the Cargo Deck is Part 2. A Bitter Cold, alright, so I see how this is going. We, we fill in the book, I'm guessing, alright. So, I'm hitting, es oh, Escape is actually back. The, the entire book? Fine. Jeez. Bitter cold. Wait, what is... On the Orlop deck. Murder. Outside the first mate's window. The calling. Calling's quite long, isn't it? Unholy captives. On the cargo deck. Soldiers of sea. In the port walk, on the cargo deck, the doom, on the bow, on the gun deck, inside captain's quarters. This chapter will remain unknown to you until you leave the ship and return the book to me. Yeah, okay, I told I'm supposed to skim the entire book. Blah, bitty, blah, bitty, blah, bitty, blah. Yep. Uh, in the lazarette, escape. Why would that chapter remain unknown? Midshipman's cabin. The end. Inside the captain's quarters. There are a lot of the end. Glossary. No idea what this is. What happens if I pursue her? Oh, Admiral Officer. Accounts for all cargo. Alright. The Orlop deck. Mid deck above the lowest deck. Containing storage cabins, animal pens, and the ship's steering tiller. Yeah, that's what it's... Alright. Uh, okay. That compass seems morbid. Memento mortem. The memento of death. Okay, remember death. Got it. Jerk. So how do I use this fancy watch, then?
That's what I want to know. Because I can open the book now, I'm willing to bet. Don't know who this... Ah! So once I'm over them, I bet I can use the damn thing. Let's see inside all the rooms first. You know, while I'm here, there's bound to be some stuff. That's still out there. I have no idea what that is. Very curious about that. I feel like I should be able to open up more stuff than just doors if I'm investigating, you know, everything there. There's X on that door. It's locked. Bastards. We'll figure him out in a second. That's locked as well, it seems. And, okay. Uh, nothing in here. Rilling stuff. Oh, a hatchet. Alright, so this guy's... Alrighty. Game got sick of my shit. This guy's probably the tutorial. Captain, open the door. So I'm the captain now. Or this individual is the captain. Ah. Hmm. So this is the captain. Who seems as though he was sh Oh, no, this is some raider. So this is our captain. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's his quarters in there. Don't know what you want from me. This guy... I mean, these guys could be someone. Don't know what I'm here for, though. Can I interact? Do I have to identify this man by his face? Is that what's happening? I don't know who he is. If this is a game about identifying accents, we're going to be here all day, alright? I'm bad at that. Uh, huh. Uh, could have been those guys, not the bald ones, but, you know, could have been that guy. That guy's not wearing a shirt. Couldn't have been that guy. Couldn't have been these guys. Couldn't have been people here in the forest. Could have been either of those guys. I don't know. Seems like a pointless gesture, really. Um... Yeah, it's not telling me anything. Okay, um... Okay... So we know the captain shot somebody. What is fate? Oh, who is... Oh, okay, alright, alright. So we can identify people that way. Alright, alright, okay. So... Not wearing a shirt, kind of balding. Looks like he might have a bit of a mustache. Some long hair. The not wearing a shirt thing may or may not be relevant. Uh, Lord knows, I have no idea. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Well, I looked around, I guess. I only get X amount of time. Well. Right. Um. Meanwhile, at the end? Hmm. Outside the captain's quarters, location of the corpse. That man screamed captain. Three people were present. Who is this and how did they die? Well, someone got shot in the fucking chest, I'll tell you that much. Three people were pre three others were present. You mean three total people were present? Um, well, let's start with first. This unknown soul met an unknown fate. Well, that's a bit boring. This person's face appears broad throughout the book. The boy, you have no no sufficient memory to determine their identity. Well, shit. Met an unknown fate. Their fate may be known, but cannot be entered now. Yeah, they got shot. Trying to name them. Carry on and pay attention. Face will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify has been revealed in some way. Okay. Well, he was shot, but, you know, it's, it says we don't know. Crushed. Oh, by something. Yeah, no. Um, alive. Oh, some people... Okay, so not everyone's dead. Um, he's not alive. How do I change... Okay. Uh, shot. 
with a gun. This unknown soul was shot by a gun by the captain. Probably. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Bookmark all memory. Mm. Use the buttons at the top of the page. And they, mm. Can that slow down? Like, holy shit. First memory, perished at the end... Perish in the end, part one. Show memories on deck map. Depicted in Justice at Sea sketch. Is he? First memory. Captain, open the door. Kick it in, lest we break down and take more. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. These two men. Mm-hmm. We know he's not the captain. Location of the corpse was here. Nothing else is worth zooming in on, apparently. So we know someone got shot. Shouldn't have closed the book. Okay. Um, three others are present. It seems though. This person's facing all bird, using information to pocket watch. Okay, remember... <laughs> This goes significantly too quick. And then that one takes, like, forever. 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's any fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Great. Some identities may only be revealed through process of elimination. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I mean, this guy's the captain, right? It's fairly easy. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, shot. Gunner. Okay, so... Wait. This unknown soul. Well, was he? I don't remember if that was him or not. Fucking, I don't know. It's the captain. That guy shot him. Oh, yeah, the other dude had the weird hat. No idea this guy or what happened to him. I mean, his corpse wasn't there, so, you know. Was... Okay. Ah, so this is how that particular... Okay. This unknown soul was shot with a gun by Captain Robert Witterell. Well then, and they appear there. And we can flip all the way up here. And now the garage door is opening, which means somebody's home, so have to go and deal with that, but, you know, uh, if we flip up here, we can see, yep, Captain's face pretty damn clearly. Everyone else is kind of blurred. Although he was one of the gunmen that shot this hanging fellow. So this is probably everyone on ship appearing at least once. I can believe there's 60 people there, so that's the only guy I know is the captain. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll be exploring more, I guess. So until then, thanks so much for watching. I've been talking about talk to you later, shooting go shares, and see you around Asklands.